Right, well I think one of the first things that stands out uh, is obviously the number of kids that, that ultimately ended up signing and, and we knew that we were going to have um, you know, cap space, if you will, because we had such a large senior class last year, um, and we don't have a lot of kids that will be seniors, juniors, and sophomores. So uh, we're going to be able to go out and, and sign a large number of kids, and, and really from, you know, the the six hour radius uh, in and around Kearney. And so that's that's really where we focused on, and, and we're able to hit on on quite a few of those kids. But uh, you know, ultimately, that's that's kind of why we had the the big number. I had two two focuses on on uh, you know from a transfer transfer perspective and the first one was we needed to bolster our front seven defensively that was an area that you know we really were deficient last year uh, just from a size discrepancy on the teams that we were playing in the MIAA and so needed to go out and find you know some bigger kids that could come in and, and play a, a, an immediate impact role for us um, you know so defensive line and, and linebacker were, were spots that we went out and found kids that uh, you know we thought fit that that mold and then you know offensively signed three kids uh, and they're all wide receivers uh, Kids that can that can come in provide a little bit of a spark for us, um, you know, and be able to go up and, and make plays and, and improvise uh, when the time calls for us. So bolstering our front seven and then uh, you know providing that playmaking playmaking ability at the wide receiver spot were really two areas of uh, that we've thought that uh, we need to go out and fill. You know that was our that was our priority going into uh, this recruiting season was was the offensive and defensive line and, and not necessarily from a you know from a high school perspective not necessarily kids that could come in and play right away but kids that had the ability to um, to provide that depth for us uh, you know and, and wouldn't have to come in and start game one but had the ability to and thought that we went out and, and identified those kids. Uh, and then we're able to bring in, you know, most of those kids that we signed were our top end kids uh, that we identified very early on in the recruiting process. So feel really good about the offensive and defensive line class that we brought in. Uh, I think the, the size kind of speaks for themselves, um, you know, just from the sheer um, the size, the, the weight and the height stuff. Um, you know, if you look at that on paper, you're, it's impressive. But then you watch those guys on film and, you know, it's equally impressive on, on what they can do in between the stripes and then the type of people that they are to really fit the mold for what we're doing. You know, for the most part, I think we're, we're pretty much wrapped up in, in recruiting. We're, we're pretty much done with that. Um, you know, and I think what we, what we get to do now is, is coach the guys that we have here on campus. And that's the exciting part. We move into our, you know, they've been working out since they got back from, from winter break. But, you know, the coaches actually get to, to get in there and, and get in the mix with them. So we start that on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings uh, is when we'll do our, our, um, our running sessions and our conditioning sessions and our competition sessions. Um, and then when, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they'll be in the weight room lifting. And uh, one thing that just passed this year, uh, new legislation for Division Two, is we can actually work with them on an individual skill set for two hours a week. Uh, and now we still can't go over our, our weekly allotment, but um, we actually get to have a ball and, and we actually get to coach the kids that are on campus with uh, football specific drills where we've never been able to do that before. So um, that's really exciting for us. We get to we get to move into that stage of it up until uh, really spring break where we'll have right before spring break we do our testing uh, in the weight room and then right after spring break is, is when spring ball starts with us uh, and then it'll conclude on April 23rd on uh, Saturday afternoon and uh, with our spring game. So excited for, for that next transition and, and working with these guys that are here on campus.